welterweight division matchup. on the short list of the best strikers pound for pound in UFC history. When Edson Barboza is fighting and you're not commentating, I know you're shelling out that pay-per-view money. This guy is as entertaining as anybody in this Every single time Edson Barboza steps in the octagon, I too in. He's one of the most diverse and dominant finishers the UFC has ever seen. Who wins fights by leg kicks on more than one occasion? Edson Barboza, that's who. Who has a spinning back kick finish that's going to stay? on the highlight videos of for all time. Edson Barbosa, that's who, a striker and finisher of the highest order, Edson Barbosa Jr. is one of the most exciting fighters the UFC's ever seen. A lot of big name wins on his resume. Anthony Showtime, Pettis, Gilbert Melendez among them. There have been some pitfalls and some big spots, but Edson Barbosa, as you might expect, finds himself in another big one here tonight. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jack. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Barboza is one year the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Welterweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Edson Junior Barbosa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautiful kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Flipped him with a right hand there. Nice punch 
by Edson Barboza. Defensively. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, spinning basket. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, round two. I mean, look at the commitment to chicken in this fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to go to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at how he's turned his hips into that leg. now to go in round two. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and so... Oh! Back to the feet. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Barboza gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt back. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X play. It will not do any damage. Oh, a huge block there. Jeez Louise. Right hand upstairs. Nice. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Barboza gets hit with a kick. And the horn sounds on round two.
All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting. That's right, starts guys, to really ready? wear you at ready? your gas tank. Let's it's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at the turnover in that kick. Checks that leg kick. Unbelievable. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, well, both fighters are pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Lee the Leech King Leon. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale 